Michael, I'm the chairman of uh, Senate Committee on Land Transport. My name is uh, Mohamed Adam Alero. I represent uh, the people of Kebi Central and Kebi State. We are here to essentially do the oversight function, uh, which is bestowed on us by the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, as you rightly know, money being appropriated by the National Assembly is uh, supposed to be utilized the purposely for uh, what it is being allocated for. Uh, and uh, we released or we approved close to about 530 billion naira uh, just last month when we passed the supplementary appropriation bill into law and it has been assented by Mr. President. We follow up to ensure that uh, uh, that money is being used properly. And we are quite impressed with the remarkable achievement that we saw. In particular, uh, we saw how the Mobilaji Johnson train station is. We saw uh, the Professor Wola Shainka uh, station in Abe Akuta. This is comparable to what obtains anywhere in the world. The standard is excellent. The ticketing system is perfect. The BIP launch is one of the best you can get anywhere in the world. Even the way to launch for passengers uh, is, is up to standard. So to say the least, uh, we are very, very impressed with what we saw. And uh, we believe that uh, the money has been properly utilized. And this will give us further impetus to approve more uh, in the next year's appropriation, that is in the 2025 uh, uh, budget. So, yeah. Okay. You've said some of these things that you've observed and how uh, some of the stations are meeting with international standard. Can you just talk us through some of the things that you think needs to be improved upon, especially train services is concerned in the country generally? The train service, so far so good from what we have seen here. The only thing is that uh, there is need to accelerate the completion of Lagos Kano. And there is also need to accelerate the completion of uh, Potakot Meduguri. Uh, equally important is the freight services, which Nigerian Railway Corporation is presently providing, or over 14 locations from seaport to different destinations in Nigeria. Um, this is very, very commendable because this will certainly uh, increase the lifespan of our roads uh, that is currently under a lot of pressure. Because no matter what you do with the roads, if the haulage of heavy equipment continues the way it is, the, the lifespan of the road will not last long. It will simply be in a state of disrepair and a lot of money will be needed to repair it. So it's very important we accelerate the development of a rail network in the country. Every section of the country should be connected. And what is most important is the issue of maintenance. We are impressed with the technical services we have seen that have been provided. Uh, we saw what the CC, uh, ECC has done. Uh, and it's, hand, it's handing over that facility to Nigerian Railway Corporation. And uh, competent engineers are being employed to take over the services that Chinese are currently providing. And uh, we commend the Chinese for the transfer of technology. And that is what it's meant for, actually, because uh, once they complete their work, uh, they hand over to Nigerians to continue the maintenance so that there will be sustainability. All right. Thank you very much, as you can hear the, the chairman of the committee. Now I'll move to the um, acting uh, MD of NRC. Of course, you've been in the system before now. Uh, you were director of procurement, and you know some of the things that happens in Nigeria Railway Corporation. So talk us through what is happening, what are you planning to do more, uh, what are the things you're improving on, and especially how do you 
uh, co uh, cope with the Yotad rush and of course some of the accusations in the past about ticket racketeering. We'll still talk about that. So let's let's have your views. Okay, first of all, I want to thank the, um, thank the distinguished chairman and the members of this committee for coming. Um, it gives us great pleasure and um, at least they've seen what we are doing in NRC and what we hope to do. And thank you for your, uh, for, for your cooperation, sir. So in terms of what we want to do in NRC, first of all, we want to continue giving efficient and secure train services to the masses. Importantly, cheap train services, means of transportation for the masses. As the chairman said, we want to alleviate the road. We want to make sure that we move freights to help the roads. In terms of the future, we're increasing our services. We're looking at increasing our services efficiently and effectively and importantly, safely. We've um, increased our services in Abuja Kaduna route. We are looking at other routes where we can increase our services. And um, I, I'm sure you've uh, you hinted on um, what is going on in terms of ticket bracketeering. I can assure the public, I can assure everybody that anybody that works for NRC that is caught in the act of ticket bracketeering will be dealt with. The dis disciplinary actions will be taken against the person. In the instance of the, of the Honorable Minister, we've set up investigations in terms of what's trending in social media, what trended in social media recently. The inf investigation is ongoing now. We will get to the root of it and we'll make sure that we eradicate all the bad eggs if we have them in the system. Yeah, one more question. Um, you understand that a lot of Nigerians are still skeptical about the use of train services in Nigeria, of course. Um, one will assume that uh, when you get to the likes of Mobulaji Johnson's uh, station, station uh, the Awole Shoyin gas station, you'll meet a lot of people who are actually you know, trying to uh, board the train. Even during the rush hour in the morning, around the 8, 9, we don't really see much passengers. Um, how do, we, do you think we can really sensitize Nigerians and allay the affairs about security issues? You see, first of all, it's about demand, really. As we see demand increasing, as I said earlier on, we're increasing our services. Now, to the security issue, we have a lot of security measures we've put in place. Um, we ride, security people ride with us on the train. There are other measures we've put in place, which um, obviously for security reasons I can't really mention. But I want to assure Nigerians that we are trying our best. We are working with the security operatives in Nigeria, throughout Nigeria the DSS, all of that, we are working with them and we can assure Nigerians that we will continue providing a safe and secure rail service for the masses. All right, there you have it. Um, of course, the MD of uh, NRC, the acting MD of NRC, and of course, the chairman of the Senate Committee on Land Transportation.